Three remaining in the fourth quarter. Three-point game, Madison with the lead. Montebon pressured by Figueroa. In oh. trouble. Almost a steal. And it's a violation. Adamson saying that there was a tap. What a sequence of events. Good defense by NU pressuring Monty Montebon. You see here that pressure defense. Denying passing lanes, almost a five-second call. As you see here, he got, the ball gets tapped by Figueroa, goes to the other side. Manzano picking it up. Oh, and a review. Well, Coach Jeff trying to draw a play while there was a lull. So Adamson is fighting for the right that it got tapped. So they can pick up the ball back at yeah. their side of the half court. But the refs deemed it as a backing violation. And the possession will stay with NU. Pat U will inbound. 49.5 seconds remaining in the fourth. Palacello hands it off to Figueroa. Jake guarded tightly in traffic, forces the issue, doesn't get it. Palacello the offensive board, the reverse is good for PJ Palacello, and the lead is down to one. And the Adamson soaring Falcons will call for time. What? A possession there for the Bulldogs. Bounce forward with a three bound from AIA. AIA with you wherever life goes. Timeout called by Coach Nash Rosella. With 34.6 seconds remaining in the fourth, they're trying to hold on to this lead and get a win. Bounce back from their loss against Ateneo. Meanwhile, NU trying to break their two game losing skid. Yero in trouble, and he is called for the five second violation. Sudden, NU has a golden chance to take the lead here late in the fourth. Both teams have one timeout left. But this will be only 14 seconds on the shot clock for the Bulldogs. Enough time for them to set up a play. It's Enriquez, Palacello, Manansala, you and Figueroa on the floor. Oh, and Manansala is... I think his contacts fell. And Pat Yu picking it up. Closing his right eye. There's the contacts. Courtesy of engineer Pat Yu. 
<laughs> so, pareho kayong high fly, pero hindi, hindi kayo pareho na contacts. Good job, though, by uh, Patrick Yu finding his contacts on the floor. Okay, engineer, mani, mani na ang mata. Tama? <laughs> oh, tama, tama. Engineer nga pala ako. <laughs> Minsan nakakalimutan kayo. <laughs> uh, 34.6 seconds. So in those two sequences, two plays called, no time was deducted on the game clock. It was a five-second violation first on Joshua Yero, on Adamson, and then when Enyu was going to inbound, there was a whistle and a foul was called. So we'll wait for the official call. But free throws will be awarded because uh, Adamson is already in uh, the penalty. So the big question now is did Manansala get his uh, contacts back in his eye or will someone sub in for him? And that's what Patty was trying to explain to the referee. Coach Jeff, I think, is saying that he was hit in the face, so maybe wants a review of this foul. It'd be more than just a regular foul because it's above the shoulder. Interesting events happening tonight. This proves that uh, it's never a boring night Yeah, when it's a UAP basketball. Oh, you need some excitement on Hump Day Wednesday. Here it is in the UAAP. Again, that's uh, Corwin Pell, the number 20. Manansala still being treated at the bench. His teammates surrounding him. Now he has time now because uh, the referees are, are reviewing that last foul against Manansala. Of course, uh, Coach Jeff and his team saying that Manansala got hit in the face, and think, obviously. And I think they're trying to figure out if he can take the free throws. But it looks like he can't. And Humamoy will be the man fielded in by Coach Jeff Napa. And of course, you can because of that uh, situation, you can put or you can field in a maybe better free throw shooter from your team. And of course, you would choose Rain Humamo. He was perfect so far at the season. Seven out of seven in season 87. These are huge free throws. And he makes the first to tie the game up at 56 all. Only on his second playing year for the NU Bulldogs. Well, good sub for Coach Jeff. So it was, a, it's a, it was one free throw because of foul. But still end new possession after that free throw by Humamoy with that foul called away from the ball. So it was only one attempt because it wasn't a call on ball. It's a miss by Palacello. Shot clock is off. 56 all. Adamson has possession. It's winning time for the soaring Falcons. Yero looks at the clock. Turns around, quick shot, Manzano picks it up. And Manzano puts it in for the lead. Cedric Manzano with the biggest shot of the night. Wow.
And this last play, Hierro tosses it up. Manzano knew that it was a pass. Rebounds the ball, puts it in for two, and gives Adamson the lead. King Falcon, if I've ever seen one. And it's timeout called by NU. Time at a game clock is 3.3 seconds. Official time is at 3.3 seconds remaining. Enough time for NU to get something up, whether for the lead or the tie. And just so everyone knows, we have yet to have an overtime game here in season 87. Will this be the first? Only NU can decide that. But you look at the lineup, you have to point it out. We have to point it out. Adamson sitting down all their bigs. Franz Mann is the only big. I think I'm, they're anticipating that they're going to switch everything. All yep. the screens, all the handoffs. Try to stay so, somewhat in front of any shooter. Patty will trigger. Finds Manansala. Manansala puts it up for the tie! And we are going to overtime! Cholo Manansala! Get the ball to your hottest player so far in this game. Manansala just skying over everybody in the nick of time as the buzzer sounds. Flying and making that shot. Against three white shirts, that is the human pogo stick, Jolo Manansala, above everyone else. The cramps, the long gun, and he's ready to take on overtime. What a shot. What a series of shots for both teams. Manzano on one side giving Adamson a two-point lead and NU with Manansala. Now you can say that that play we go back previous possession. I think the referees are just clearing it out, making sure that it's a... Uh, or if there's any time left. Oh, but there is still time left on the clock. By Point Matthew three. Adamson, Tenths of a second. Adamson calling a timeout of their own. A three tenths of a second, that is. Our official time at a game clock, 0 0.3 seconds. So again, three-tenths of a second remaining here. 
And what could be the first overtime of the season, but Adamson has one last shot. And Kalisai will inbound. Ali, you play for sure. Yero for the win! Oh! 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 What? Oh! A play! Wait. Wait. What an out of bounds play, Coach Nash Rassel, the king. I'm going to crown him the king of out of bounds plays. What a setup, and Joshua Yero. Wow. Let's take a look at this one, partner. The inbound, the down screen, Yero just jumping up. That. Wow! And that should count for Joshua Yero on a game winning basket to beat the buzzer. The graduating player. Out of Ormok Leite. One thing to give it all this season for the Adamson community and giving Coach Nash Rosella his third win of the season.